Hello everyone, this is Shamin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. Today I have this 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. In the last video, I did a pour where my idea was I will have a beautiful bloom flower here and some leaves and it will be a vertical composition, but it did not go as I wanted it to go. So I'm experimenting it again here today. So my base coat, first of all, is going to be this blue which is basically let me spread it a little when you are an artist you are you have a vision before you start a project and sometimes you will it should work out sometimes it won't so we don't know how it's going to go therefore according to what you got last time you readjust your strategy and try to come up with a plan where it will work out so this is my um, response to the mistakes that i made last time and how it turned out um, in the in screen I you can see the picture of my previous video or pre previous result if you have not seen it yet I would highly suggest to go and watch that video before you see what I'm doing this time because then it will make more sense to you so the colors that I have this is olive green from creative inspiration this one is light olive green from master's touch this one is antique gold and another gold mixed together and this one is some green um, color so what I'm going to do is start with the green self note next time i do this i will definitely add a tad bit of white with the colors i'm loving the composition however as i was trying to draw some 
uh, lines with my fingers, I realized there is a lot of paint on the surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a syringe and uh, suction up uh, paint as much as I can from the canvas. The reason is uh, this is one way of not spinning but getting rid of some of the paint from the canvas. Otherwise, you are going to get cracks as it dries. And if you are in a situation like me that I don't want to ruin my composition, uh, probably uh, suctioning up some of the paints with using a suction or a syringe would be a very good option. after a lot of like messing around and suctioning a lot of the paints this is what I have and I will let it dry now So today it's been three or four days that I did this side of the pouring and as you can see it's dry and it's pretty. So what I'm thinking of, I want to do a big flower here, very vibrant colors and um, the colors as I go, actually most of them are, um, I mix two, three different kind of acrylic paints and pigments. So. They are all custom colors so it's you just look for something really pretty that's all i'm thinking about so what i did was this is a crooked um my surface is a little bit crooked because on my um, cake spinner my uh, canvas is sitting kind of awkward way so what I did was I taped three sides, uh, as you can see with duct tape, and then I'm going to spin and see how it goes. And we'll figure out as we go. So let me set up my camera and we'll start. So let's start on the second part. almost out of my multi-draw eggshell. So here we are, let's start layering. Look at this, what I have in my secret stash, Nicolazo Gold. Yep, I still have tiny bit left. I, I use them very carefully. I don't want to, you know,
of course I'm a sucker for gold and at last my seal activator okay it's going as I as you can see my canvas is not balanced so it's running somewhere my paints are so let's see <laughs> Okay, let's spin in and see what it takes us. Oops, let me move this on the way. I'm trying to cover the entire canvas so I'm just layering some paint so before I spin so when I spin everything will be covered nicely. Trying to add some definitions on the flower. Oops. So now what I'm going to do, as you can see, it's a hot mess. So what I'm going to do is get my wipes and get rid of some paint from here, which I can do because this side is dried. It's very convenient, right? So yeah, let's do that. Oh. 
Oh my god, that's so pretty. fix the sides first let me check how much paint do I have in the center like you know what it's it's going to be good I'm going to spin a tad bit more because my cells will open up more. I can always wipe them on this side now that I figured it out. By the way, this time my center is here for the spinner because I want paints to drop towards this side because I want the sides to be nice and clean. So that's what it is doing. Look at the sides now. Let me move you, move the camera. Let me show you the, see the sides? How pretty they are now. That's what I'm going for, and trust me, these will drop. So, I think after um, doing my more some more spinning, it turned out even better. I love this this very much. Happy, I'm happy with the result. Really happy, turned out really pretty. Okay, here we are. Ooh, let me clean up the sides. I touched the sides and it kind of got all the paints from my hand, which should not have happened. So yeah, cleaning up the mess. Okay, so here's the end result. I'll stop and bring you down to show you the details. This one needs to dry and I'll come and talk more. Look at the details, guys, how pretty it is. Oh, 
look at the blending of the color on that corner i wish i had that bit more blending here of the different colors but that's okay because this side is white this side is what like vibrant color which kind of balances each other out so that's okay i guess so i'll stop here for now today let it dry and we'll come back now it's resin so you can see i added some glitters of different colors to highlight my composition see here and as we go up look at the leaves oh my gosh they are so pretty and vibrant i'm really happy thank you so much for joining me today until next time bye